It's time for our Sunday morning Q&A and joining us this morning is Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenitz. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thanks for getting up early. How's that time change going? Uh, I need that extra hour. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> you have so much going on in Baltimore County right now. What are you looking for? Let's start with Annapolis. What are you looking for this year? Uh, look, it's just trying to get our fair share of, of the pie, so mm -hmm. to speak. Uh, we need money for school construction transportation projects, things like that. Yeah, and you have a lot of school construction going on right now. We, we really have an ambitious program. It's a $1.3 billion Schools for Our Future program where we're modernizing our schools, we're eliminating overcrowding, we're air conditioning, putting Wi-Fi technology and public safety features. It's a, it's a great investment. It's not only for our kids, but it also helps stabilize neighborhoods. Yeah, let's talk about the air conditioning situation. How is that going in schools? Well, you know, when I took office in 2010, I had the twin dilemma of uh, rising enrollment and uh, aging infrastructure. 80% of our schools were more than 40 years old and just 48% of them were air conditioned. Right now with this current budget, we're up to 85% air conditioned. Our next fiscal budget uh, beginning in July will be at 90% wow. and we're getting the job done, but it's not just air conditioning. We're adding mm -hmm. the seats and modernizing. That's also the key. You have a new park that's coming up, the Angel Park. Can you tell me about yeah, that? Yeah, this, uh, this is our sixth park in the wow. last five years. And this one is really special because it's been designed by 4,500 elementary school yeah. students. And the community is actually building the park. And what's nice about it is that it, uh, it, it has access for children who have physical or social barriers and allows them to participate as freely as, as all children. This is over in the White Marsh area? It's in Perry Hall yeah. and it's next to the Perry Hall Library. Uh, it's called Angel Park yeah. and it's just really nice. something special where the, the community is also not only uh, uh, pitched in financially but they'll be doing the work physically. Every time I drive on Reisterstown Road, I see all that work going on in the old Solo Cup area. So it's, it's really coming along. Hey, uh, well, uh, it, it, we're proud to actually be the only county in this state that will have two Wegmans. And wow. Wegmans is such a category killer. You know, you can... It, well, it, it, it's so funny. You can go food shopping and also do a workout at the same Maybe time. You can get all 10,000 <laughs> steps. Just yeah. That's for sure. Your police officers in the county carrying Narcon now? Yeah, you know, um, it's, it's an interesting drug because you can uh, safely administer it and safely mm -hmm. receive it, and it uh, neutralizes the effects of op opioids. But um, uh, what's nice about it is that our firefighters have used it, but now we're going to equip our police officers so that when they respond before the fire do, uh, they can administer it if, it, it if it's needed. We also have a new phone number that helps people for resources as kind of a hotline, 41088-REACH, uh, and it's also on our website that way, 41088-REACH, uh, and that gives families uh, opportunities for resources. But ultimately, uh, that's just temporary. The real picture is trying to uh, address treatment on demand. Mm -hmm. So when an addict says, look, I, I know I have a problem, I need help today. If we can't put them in a bed and a placement, Absolutely. then we lose them. And that's the real key. And that, that's the bigger discussion we should have on the state level. Uh, this is becoming more and more a forefront issue for counties in the city to deal with. Yeah, it's, it's a problem that's going on. All right, thank you so much for coming in. Well, good morning. It. Hey, uh, 22 days until opening day. Oh, so. he's ready to go. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Thank you so much. Please